The Grand Canyon, a breathtaking expanse of rock and mystery, spanning 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, and over 1,800 meters deep, is no wonder it captures the imagination of millions. But there's more to it than just its sheer size and beauty. Some say that beneath its rocky facade lies a secret world waiting to be uncovered. Now, it's not hard to feel that shiver of intrigue when standing on the rim of the canyon, looking at those vast expanses you might wonder what secrets lie in those shadowed crevices and behind those distant cave mouths. Maybe ancient cave paintings, hidden treasures, or even a dormant creature from a bygone era. But one story in particular stands out, like a legend straight out of an adventure novel. Now let's dive back in time to April 5th, 1909. The Arizona Gazette published a mind-boggling headline about an underground city found in the Marble Canyon region of the Grand Canyon. Now this wasn't just any city. It was a lost civilization complete with oriental artifacts and even a Buddha statue. The man behind this discovery was G.E. Kincaid, an explorer claiming affiliation with the Smithsonian Institute. Kincaid recounted how, while traveling down the Colorado River, he spotted unusual rock stings about 2,000 feet above the riverbed. Upon closer inspection, he discovered a hard-to-reach cave entrance, and inside, a world that seemed to bridge continents and epics. Passageways stretched out in every direction leading to hundreds of rooms, some as spacious as modern day living rooms. The architecture itself seemed ahead of its time with thick walls, oval shaped doors, and intricate ventilation systems. But the true astonishment lay in the artifacts. There were weapons, tools made of copper, and astonishingly, a Buddha statue holding a lotus flower. But the surprise didn't stop there. Egyptian vases, gold cups, and tablets inscribed with hieroglyphics further deepened the enigma. And if that was and spine chilling enough, mummified remains were found, and oddly enough, all were male. There were no children or females being buried there. This leads to the belief that this exterior section was the warrior's barracks. This underground citadel was so big, it was estimated that around 50,000 people could have lived there comfortably. Now let's ponder this. If this discovery was legitimate, history as we know it would be turned on its head. The artifacts could suggest ancient global travel routes were even hint at ancient melting pot of civilization civilization in the heart of America? Did the Egyptians have trade routes with North America? Did Asian explorers venture beyond the confines of their known world? The implications are staggering. For added mystique, consider the legends of the local Hopi Indians, longtime residents of the Grand Canyon area. Their folklore speaks of the ant people who helped their ancestors by leading them into subterranean havens during calamities. These ant beings weren't just saviors, they were teachers imparting knowledge about food storage. Is it mere coincidence or could their legends be tied to this lost city. And then there's the puzzling case from 1992 when German researcher Bala Banova found the traces of cocaine and tobacco on 3,000 year old Egyptian mummies. Considering these substances were native to the Americas, it hints at a link long before Columbus's voyage. So was the Grand Canyon the meeting point for these civilizations? Let's go back to Kincaid. When the dust settled and modern investigators sought clarity, the plot thickened. The Smithsonian, when confronted with these claims, denied any knowledge of Kincaid were such an expedition. They say there were no records, no artifacts, and certainly no acknowledgement of a groundbreaking discovery. So could this be a massive cover-up or simply an elaborate hoax? And why would an institute as esteemed as the Smithsonian suppress such a discovery, if such a discovery indeed happened? Some theorize that revealing such a secret would upheave our understanding of history, causing more questions than answers. Others think it's, it's just a myth amplified over time. Regardless, the grand Canyon's vastness hides many mysteries. And while we may never truly uncover all its secrets, one thing is for sure, it's not just the winds echoing through its caverns. There are whispers of lost tales, ancient travelers, in a history that might forever change the way we see this natural wonder. So the next time you find yourself at the edge of the Grand Canyon, gaze deep into its depths and remember, there might be more than meets the eye. And if you do get that itch to explore, make sure to pack an extra torch and perhaps a fedora. And as always, Stay curious, everybody.